he's improved, especially offensively. Yeah, he uh, he was great on Saturday, and uh, and coming off a game, you know, he had played well the week before, and you know, the game at Southern, it just uh, uh, felt like we needed some more ball handling in the game. So Max did not play in the game at Southern, and then comes back and has the game that he had on Saturday, and it continues to. You know, I've talked about it a number of times this year with all, with all of our guys, but it continues to speak to the preparation that our guys put in, and not just the six or seven guys that are playing minutes every night. Everybody on the on the roster is willing to put their time in, and, and Max was in there again this morning, getting a bunch of shots up. And you know, it, because of the way Missouri State was playing and our inability to stop them, uh, we needed points Saturday, and uh, they were going to for a stretch in that second half. They worked hard to take Tuttle away. And he found Max a couple times, and those are uh, those are important baskets. Those are big baskets, and it's you know it's a direct result. And you've heard me say it again a number of times, but a direct result of of Max and and uh, the other guys that I've talked about just putting so much time in outside of practice so that they're uh, prepared. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know if uh, I don't know if Seth got the four fouls on Saturday. Nate did. Nate did. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Nate, uh, yeah. You know, and that uh, he's again because because he's got some experience now, and he's he's played more game minutes, and he's played uh, minutes that that uh, uh, that are during the course of the game when the game's being decided. You know, this this obviously is the first year that he's been in that situation, and you know now we're you know we're getting to the almost to the halfway point of the, the conference season. So he's got enough experience now. And, and uh, uh, But he, he made some good plays. He continued to play hard with the foul trouble. Uh, you've got to be able to do that. You can't just be out there. You know, you've got to continue to defend and rebound. And I thought he did that, uh, but did it in a way where he was able to, to stay away from that last one. Yeah, you, you, you're uh, you're exactly right. You don't you don't get that all the time with uh, uh, with guys that uh, that are playing inside for you. And, you know, Jake Cook had some of that. Uh, Jake, uh, we ran a lot of our offense through Jake and had uh, had that same kind of feel for what we're trying to get done. And uh, Seth is is uh, has grown into that, and that's that's been good to see. There was a lot of the game on Saturday. He was direct in traffic without the basketball and. And we're working to get him to do more of that at the other end of the floor as well. And that's, um, he needs to keep doing it at the offensive end because he's got such a good feel for what we want to get done. We need him to take that to the defensive end of the floor and be able to stand in the middle of our defense and talk that same way so that we can have a, uh, you know, an improved defense going forward.